Daniel Walker, and this is another J. English video. Uh, today we're going to look at past continuums. Okay. Uh, I have an example here of how to form past continuums. You can see I have the be verb was, were, plus verb, plus ing. And was and were show the past tense. Okay, past continuous is used when you want to show uh, repetition in the past with always or constantly. Okay, it also shows actions that are parallel, past actions that are parallel. Also actions uh, that go through a specific time. And you can also use past continuous to show past actions that have been interrupted. Okay, so today we're going to use the verb or conjugate the verb study. Okay, so we have study here, this is the base form of the verb. Okay, then according to our formula here, you want to add ing. Okay, and this is going to make this study. Okay, so you have study plus ing to make study. So I have some examples where we are using, where I am using uh, the be verb in the past with the base form of the word and the ing. Okay, so here I have I was studying. You see the be form of the verb was is in the past. Study the base form with ing. I was studying. This shows something I was doing in the past. I was studying in the past. He, she, it was studying. You were studying. We were studying. They were studying. Okay, and you see how this he, she, it, the third person singular, this was, was is also with I. And these, or should I say, you were or they, we use were. Okay, I'm going to uh, come back with some more examples. Thank you. Okay, welcome back, and we are going over past continuous. So let's go over what we, what I touched on uh, earlier. Okay, early in the video. Okay, I have written on the board some rules. I stated the rules earlier, and I've written them down. So I think you should try and remember this to help you with past continuance. Okay, past continuance expresses repeated actions with always or constantly, actions that are parallel, action through a specific time, action that had been interrupted, or actions are in the past. Okay, so let's look at the first sentence. The first sentence reads, Sarah was always coming to class late. Okay, we have the B form of the verb here, was, which is in the past tense. We have coming. Okay, the base form of coming is come, and then you add, you have to add ing. Okay, I also stated here the first rule, okay, that you can use always or constantly. So let's see how this sentence works with constantly. Okay, Sarah was constantly coming to class late. Okay, it has the same meaning, so we can use always or constantly. Here we chose to use always. Okay, let's look at the second sentence. I was cleaning the house while Ahmed was washing the dishes. Okay, I was cleaning was is the be form of the verb in the past tense. Okay, cleaning, you know, clean is the base form, then you have to add I and G. Okay, I was cleaning the house while Ahmed was washing the dishes. Okay, again we have was, be form of the verb in the past. Wash is the base form of the verb, plus I and G. Okay, and this shows actions that are parallel. I was cleaning the house while Ahmed was washing the dishes. So I was cleaning the house, my friend Ahmed was washing the dishes. This was happening simultaneously or parallel. It was happening at the same time. Okay, let's look at this sentence on the next side of the board. Okay, I knew we were falling. Okay.
Okay, here we use were. Okay, we use were because we is plural. Okay, so we have to use were. Okay, I knew we were falling. Okay, and this shows actions through a specific time. Okay, actions through a specific time. Let's look at the next sentence. The computers were working very well until they came. Okay, were goes with computers, be form of the verb in the past, and work is the base form of the verb plus ing. Okay? Now I have written down here non-continuous verbs. These are verbs that you cannot add ing to the end. Okay? There are many verbs that are non-continuous. Uh, I suggest maybe you go on a search engine and type in non-continuous verbs or perhaps purchase a grammar book, an English grammar book, and you need to try to remember the verbs that are non-continuous. Again, these verbs you do not add ing to the end. Okay, so let's recap again. Past continuous expresses repeated actions with always or constantly, actions that are parallel, actions through a specific time, and actions that have been interrupted. All actions are past. Okay, I hope this video was of some use to you. I enjoy doing it. Have a nice day.